Hey there, welcome to a chest day superset workout today. My name is Bree and I wanna welcome you in whether this is your first time or I see you every single week. Hello drone. I'm so glad you are doing our workout so consistently. Well, welcome. You guys have let me know that the supersets are something that you'd like to do and start targeting all the muscles in the body. So as you recall, we did back last week. We're gonna do chest this week. We are gonna use our dumbbells. I have my 552 Select Tech dumbbells with me today. And then I do have a bench. You can do this workout without a bench. I'm gonna show you with the bench today just because I think it is a great option if you have it. But if not, you can definitely do all these exercises on the floor, lifting your chest and using just the floor for support. So with that being said, we're going to warm up real quickly today. I have your comments up, so make sure you say hi and let me know how you're doing on this Tuesday. All right, you guys, deep breath, inhale, lift up, exhale. Good. And please just give me two more like that. Biggest breaths you can. Inhale and exhale. And last one. This one, I want a big smile on your face. And exhale, good, and then take your arms front and back. Did you know that a smile can change your brain chemistry? So you know the term fake it till you make it? It's kind of true. Smile until you feel it, right? <laughs> so with that, go ahead and just swing those arms, keeping that chest nice and loose, bracing at the core. And again, we're targeting our chest muscles specifically, so I'm gonna warm up some very specific muscle groups around that area to try to get a little bit deeper into the muscle that we wanna use. So you'll notice, I'm gonna stretch some that you're gonna be like, well, why are you stretching there? Hi, Erin, hi, Sebastian. I'm so glad you love supersets. Okay, from here, I want you to take one leg back and just reach side to side, and we're just sweeping. So it's really important to get our upper body, our torso nice and open, so I'm just leaning gently to the side. Good, reach, <sighs> stepping behind, sweeping nice and high. Good work, I'm paying attention to our time. Our warm-ups are always about two to three minutes just to make sure that our body is ready for the work ahead. There is no workout too short that doesn't need a nice, quick warm-up. Always warm up your body. That's my little announcement for today. <laughs> always warm up, and with that, we're always gonna cool down as well. All right, from here, I want you to go ahead and give me some arm circles forward. Now you can start little, then you can take it to a little bit bigger. And from here, we're gonna then go backwards, but just do a couple more forward. Good, bracing the core. Get your ponytails off your shoulders. <laughs> Reach forward, and then take your arms and go backwards. Good, and then when I say brace your core, it's because, and I'm just gonna turn to the side, as I come forward, I can't arch my back, that was really exaggerated, but just make sure you have a very nice tight brace on the abs. Good, step side to side, windmill those arms. Also, you're gonna feel that shake out through the spine, the torso, great work. Whew. Reaching long through your fingertips. And then I'm gonna stretch a little bit in the rotators and then we're gonna go for it today. All right, okay. Meet me back at the center. I want a 90, 90 degree with those arms. We did this last week for our stretch, do you remember? And you're gonna just alternate, whoosh, pressing down and up, whoosh, and really get those rotators heated, standing at attention. Good, and you just want really good mobility. Pressing down, perfect, just a few more. And now I want your elbows in at your sides. Press out. Whoosh, you can give me a little bit of a pause. So what I'm doing right here is bracing, reaching out, feeling my rotators move my arms, right? I'm not arching with my back. It's rotators, press out. Good, just five more seconds. If you find any of these movements to be challenging, focus on those because that is gonna be something that will help you progress, right? Okay, shake it out. 30 seconds, we're gonna start. You guys know the deal for supersets, but in case you need a little refresher, here's what we got. Supersets are gonna go back to back. So we have two exercises back to back. I'm going to look at time, but I want you to try to get 15 reps today. That's gonna be our goal. So 10 seconds before we start, we are gonna do our chest press first. I'll give you a little more time than 10 seconds. That's, I don't want you sprinting back. We're going to get you set up. <laughs> Go ahead and grab the dumbbells. Come to the bench or you're going to be on the floor. Now, I just want to preface this by saying that 
depending upon how long your legs are and how low you are to the ground, you can have your feet on the bench or on the floor. You're just gonna notice me bring mine up because I have, I know it looks like I have super, super long legs, but I'm kind of a little shorty. Okay, so come on up, get in position, and I want you to, I'm just gonna slide forward a tad, I want you to lift your chest, get into a nice position with your feet, and we're gonna have our arms out at that 90 degree position. I'm looking at our clock, lift the chest, Sean's ready to crush it, and here we go, first set, exhale. <sighs> Inhale on the way down. Good, so really reaching out long with the elbows, lifting the chest, bracing the core. Notice my tempo, I'm going pretty slow. <sighs> Why is that? Because you want control. We are not doing HIIT training today. We are doing focused strength work. Press up. Good, and you just see me glance back because I'm looking at our time. Really, really focus on these last few reps. Feel your chest, relax your neck. Lift up, press. Now team, in 10 seconds, you are not going to stop moving, you're just gonna pause at the top, three seconds, take a peek, palms facing each other, we're gonna do a close grip press. Come with me. So coming down and pushing up at the top. So low and then push away. Good work. Exhale, pushing up. Very nice job. You should feel now different part of your chest muscle working. So the cool thing about supersets is that you have an opportunity to keep working the chest as a whole, but we're targeting different portions. Good, yes, proper con uh, contraction, excuse me, <laughs> proper contraction with good form. I shouldn't read comments when we are uh, one and a half minutes into our set. Okay, take your first break. Bring your arms in at your side. Bring it on up, okay. On your break, I am simply going to move the bench and just show you a visual of how you can do this without a bench, if that's an option. I wanna give you both visuals. Okay, we're gonna start in 15 seconds. Set number two, same thing. So I'm giving you 30 seconds to break. Come down, bench or no bench. And here we go, chest press. <sighs> So I'm just showing you both options because I don't want you to feel like if you don't have a bench, you're getting less of a workout. The only thing that could be a limiting factor is that on the way down, you have a little bit less range of motion, right? Because on the bench, I can go a little bit lower than 90 degrees, but guess what? You're still working your chest. Good, oh, Sean, I'm so glad you like it. You're welcome. He says, this is awesome, and you're awesome. Keep going, 15 more seconds. We've been here before. You know that we're gonna go into the close grip press. So we're almost there. Get your last couple reps in. All right, this one, pause at the top, bring those palms together, lift your chest, close grip press. Inhale down, exhale push. Good. Really focus, so where do you feel this second move out of this superset? You feel it a little bit more narrow in on the chest, so whereas we were wide for the chest press, this is a close grip press, so we're bringing in a little bit tighter. We're still working the pectoral muscle as a whole. Okay, you have 15 more seconds. Great work. I always try to give you a little bit of the why behind the formula. <laughs> Keep going. <sighs> Really lift the chest and then press through. You have three, two, one, time. Okay, bring your feet in. I want you to safely come on up. I like to set my dumbbells down and then come up to a standing position. Okay, superset circuit one done. We're gonna go into number two. This time we're gonna start with our dumbbell chest fly and then we're gonna finish with our second set with alternating dumbbell press. You can do this with or without a bench, as you know. Please grab a sip. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my bench back out. Super easy and versatile to get in position for us. All right, here's your 10 second heads up. And did you remember what I said? We're gonna do our chest flies for our first set. Sean, are you with me? <laughs> okay, team, come on back. Chest flies on deck. Let's rock it out, here we go. <sighs> Exhale as you come up. 
Now I'm showing you a bunch of different options with your feet. Again, if you have longer legs and you reach the floor, there you go. Just do what feels comfortable to you. The goal ultimately is support your low back, your core, the entire structure, so what? So we can focus on our chest. <sighs> the entire focus of today's workout is chest. There was actually a lot of you that had asked for this workout, so I'm super excited to deliver today. Good, five more seconds. Then we are gonna stop at 90 degrees. All right, join me, turn those weights back in now, one arm at a time, <sighs> bringing it in towards the midline. What is also something that you're noticing? Although we are alternating, one side is now stabilizing as you press overhead, yes? Good, really, really brace the abs. If you need a break, you just bring them in at your sides and then you come back to your starting position and give it another go. Good, now on this break, you can also take some weight off if you'd like. Just 10 more seconds. Very nice job. I anticipate we're going to feel this not only today, but definitely tomorrow. Three, two, one, take your break. Go ahead and rock up to a seated position. Now, I showed you that it was possible on the floor. For ease of transition, I'm going to stay on my bench. I also love training on the bench, so I'm going to stay here. You have just a few more seconds, and then we're going to go into set number two. How you feeling? Chest starting to heat up? Yes, good core strength always helps. Hi, Richard. Richard is cheering Sean on now. This is one reason why I love this community so much. You guys are super supportive of each other, which is always fantastic to see. All right, here we go. Chest flies. Set two. Now, right now is a perfect time for me to call out that. You can come back and do this workout, and here's how you progress it for yourself. You can add on a third, a fourth, I would probably stop at a fourth before you maybe just do some variety of exercises, but you can add on sets, and that's how you progress it, as well as increase the weight. And always look at your form, because form is gonna be the number one thing before you wanna add weight. Great job. We're almost there. <sighs> All right, go ahead, finish this last rep. Now bring those arms down to 90 degrees. Really brace the abs and press up one at a time. This is what Sean was mentioning. Do you notice how your core, it needs to be on in order to stabilize your body as you press up one at a time. And then, reminder, here's your kind of recovery position before you just come back for a couple more sets. Yes, Sebastian, definitely gonna feel it tomorrow. Love it. Press. Good, really get these last few reps in, make it worth it, make it count. What you put in right now is only gonna benefit your body, so give me everything. Good time, go ahead and bring it in. Rock up to a safe seated position. Guess what? We're gonna finish with some body weight burnouts. So go ahead and set your dumbbells down. And we are gonna go into some push-ups, but we're gonna play with some staggered arm positioning today, which is always exciting. So I'm gonna give you a couple more seconds to breathe. I'm just gonna move my bench out of the way, but I will also note for you guys, if you ever need kind of an option for push-ups, because push-ups can be challenging, doing push-ups on a bench at a little bit of an elevated positioning is gonna be a little bit easier. So if you have something that you can use, you can even use like the edge of a table, a couch, anything, that's gonna allow you to get a little bit more in and then you can slowly come down. And then what's the other side? Decline is gonna be even harder. Okay, couple seconds. I'm just going to bring you guys down with me a little bit closer because it's always nice to have a little bit closer view. So I want you guys to meet me down on the floor one thing, you guys got just a few seconds. There we go. Okay, meet me down on the floor, and we're gonna do a staggered push-up. What I mean by that is, I want you to bring one arm forward and one arm back just a tad. We're gonna do our first set here, second set here, last set, regular neutral grip position. Are you ready? Here we go. Up on the toes, slowly lower. Exhale, <sighs> inhale. Exhale, 
knees is an option. Good, I'm watching the clock. You got 30 seconds on each of these sets. Inhale and exhale. 10 more seconds. I know you can do this. This is like that extra little magic at the end after we just did our strength supersets at the top. Okay, take a break. 15 seconds, we're gonna go to the other side. Body weight burnouts, I love to do this. Also push-ups, it's just good old fashioned hard work. It's effective and haven't you ever noticed that the stuff where you're kind of like, oh, I don't really wanna do it. It's because it's effective. The hard stuff is always effective. All right, I give you a little longer break there, but it's worth it. Okay, we started here. Switch your hand position. Ready, 30 seconds. Go time. If you are wondering why I'm staggering our arms, the answer is a way to change it up. It's always good to train in different positions different exercises. I haven't done these with you guys before, so it's a really good change up. Good, and remember, knees are a total option here. Inhale, exhale. And take a break. All right, I'm gonna give you that 30 seconds again. Sometimes it's nice to give you that full break. Okay, last set. I'm gonna challenge you, if you've done the first two sets on your knees, at least for this last one, sometimes it's a mental game, right? You know it's your last set. Let's see if you can get a couple more on your toes. Are you ready for it? 10 seconds, last set, and then we're gonna stretch out really well because a warm up and a cool down are both important pieces of our workout every single week. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Inhale and exhale. <sighs> Really focus on drawing the chin in and up. Really nice neutral spine. You know what that also does? It forces your core to be on because as you're trying to reach your neck and your chin towards the ground, that's not training the chest. So really tuck your chin, lower your chest towards the floor, and then push away. Just give me a few more. Very nice, I'm gonna go five seconds over just to give you one more. Three, two, one, you're done. Great work. Okay, from here, I want you to just come up to a kneeling position, take your hands behind your back, and here is your first chest stretch. And I'm gonna keep you low with me, because we're gonna go into a stretch that we have done that a few of you just were really loving. So we're gonna go into that prone chest stretch. Okay, so come down. Here's how we do it. Take your hands a little bit wider than shoulder distance. Palms, excuse me, fingertips out. And I want you to angle, so you're gonna stretch through your chest. So think about how your chest muscle runs. It attaches on your shoulder, inserts on your sternum. So you're gonna press down and really think about that angle. So if you wanna go a little higher, actually. And there's your chest stretch on one side. Now think about your lower body as well. You wanna be nice and even in your hips. So I'm not shifting around, I wanna get that true stretch. And then switch. When you do this stretch correctly, and especially if you're tight, you will start to actually feel it go all the way through, through the bicep and even into the hands. Do you feel that? <laughs> Sean says his core is working overtime. Good, okay, now bring it out to a V. And I want you to go into that modified child's pose, but I want you to think about stretching through your armpits. Then sink back, tuck your chin, spine neutral. Good, now shift side to side, pushing down. Great work. All right, slowly come up to a standing position with me and shake it out. You made it! I don't know about you, but the 20 minutes just flies by. It's just probably because time flies when you're having fun. Love working out with you guys. Okay, take one ear to a shoulder, and then I don't necessarily want you pushing down. I want you to kind of find that positioning where you feel the stretch. Good. And switch. So one thing I wanna share right now is if you sit a lot, the chest is very tight for you. Also, 
all the muscles in the front of the body when we're looking this way and we're contracted. So here's another stretch, and I'm gonna put out a challenge today. I wanna know if you accept this challenge. Every 90 minutes or so, if you sit a lot, I want you to get up and I want you to do this stretch. And then I want you to tell me how it just totally changes the tightness that you typically feel. So bring one arm across, and I want you to lean back. You can bring your arm on your uh, hip if you'd like. I want you to lean back at an angle, and you're gonna feel that stretch all through the front of your neck, yes? And switch, alternate, back at an angle. So play with the positioning for your arm. I tend to like it out to the side today. Do you feel that stretch? Okay, who accepts the challenge? Every 90 minutes today, I want you to get up, I want you to stretch that out, yes, Sebastian. And then on Thursday, when I see you live, I want you to let me know if you feel any difference, even just two days in. That's gonna be a game changer. You guys, with that, that was our chest superset workout today. Loved seeing you live. On this video, drop in the comments what muscle group you'd like to see next, and I'll prioritize that. And I will see you on Thursday, same time, same place, 9 a.m. Pacific time for a 10-minute workout. Make a great day, guys.